stop it. Right. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We're here to watch My Hero Academia, se uh, Season 4, Episode 6. Last episode was the best episode of all time. No episode is ever going to top it, unless, you know, there's another Kirishima episode that I don't know about. Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like they're building up something. Like, it ended with him, like, like a mysterious flashback to his past. And you know what? This is, this is what's going to happen, okay? Kirishima's going to get in a fight, and then he's going to have the flashbacks, because that's what you do in anime. You fight, and then you have flashbacks. Red Riot Unbreakable. Oh, that's a, that's a badass move. And then I loved uh, the fat guy. Fat Gum, the fat BMI gum, hero. Fat Gum, the <laughs> BMI hero. I do like the idea that, you know, different body images can be heroes. I like the idea that, um... Because when I first saw the guy, we kept calling him Snorlax. So I imagined that's like, it was his physique. That he was, like, really heavy and would, like, bash into people or pulverizing pancake them. Or roll or, or, like, do or, or do roll out and just roll, bowl, like, bowl people over. I thought he was gonna be like a. Basically, his super moves are Pokemon moves. Yeah, <laughs> but no, he seems like he's really like, like gooey, you know? Because like, he just sock, he like, like squishes people into his fat. That's his quirk, fat absorption. Fat absorption. And then what it said, like when he got the blade guy, did you see like the little like dip, like things poking out of his back? Yeah. Those were the blades. That's insane. And it doesn't hurt him. And so it's kind of a combination of a really fat guy with someone who has el super elasticity as well. Yeah, says. yeah. Whenever I see like a new quirk like this, I always wonder like Ralph what Dinby. Dib Dib what Din Dibney? Why can't I say it? Dibney? Yeah. Okay. So if Eraserhead used his quirk on Fat Gum, would he just get diabetes? Just immediately? <laughs> Well, no, he'd just be really fat and his body stuff won't work. It's probably, you know, I'm going to guess it's probably a mutant quirk, so probably not. Maybe. You know what's going to happen? He's going to do a, He's gonna do an Akamichi from Naruto where he um, he takes the red pill, burns all of his fat, grows some butterfly wings, and he's going to, like, just one punch somebody. Just straight one punch. I'm making a, uh, what is it, a Naruto reference. There was a character in Naruto whose thing was that he was really fat. But he would burn the fat, and it would become po it would become power, and then he'd have to get fat again. Uh, one of that dude in, Cho in Naruto, Choji, one of his ultimate like jutsus was called like it was an expansion jutsu where he'd like puff up and then human boulder. That was what it was called, human boulder. He'd bowl people down. It was cool. So I so originally we thought that the quirk canceling bullets were just in the hands of the Shie Hasaikai, but I think they're giving they're like selling them. Which, I mean... Black mar it's a black market. They're selling them. That's that what... would do very well. Oh, and also, there's a drug that enhances... I forgot to mention that in the last episode. So that is a big plot point in the manga I'm reading, uh, Vigilantes, which is like the spinoff. It's really good. I haven't made it that far. I don't even know if... I'm, I've been reading it online, so I don't even know if I'm past like the first book. But I want to like buy the books and then read them. I have three book three and four. I'm trying to get one and two. I really like Vigilantes. I think it's cool. All right. It it takes place before the events of My Hero Academia, like All Might's still around and yeah. yeah like how like long before? I don't know. I think I'd assume like a like a year or two. Like in like Ingenium is still a hero, like Ida's brother, because he didn't get paralyzed by Stain. Hmm. All and, right. Yeah. Let's jump into it. Yeah, let's go into it. We're probably gonna get back to like Deku stuff. This was just a fun like Red Riot episode. Well, it says the title is an unpleasant talk. Oh, no. I wonder what this is. Oh, man. That was an unpleasant talk, by the way. Yeah. I love the... I think it's funny, the, the shot of, like, when Mirio and Deku realize the implications of what happened. And it zooms in on their eyes. Except Mirio's is just this blue oval that's, like, wiggling around. Who's the MVP? <laughs> the what the dude um with the 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 bug guy who works for night eye no come be, on be he real. got the biggest laugh out of us what is that voice yeah because that's what the mvp does they get a laugh out of us we meme sometimes i have to say i think it would be eraser head because he's like eh. deku what? it doesn't matter he's basically when it's like De uh midoriya it doesn't really matter what i tell you you're gonna dis disobey me anyway which is why this time i'm just gonna let you we work it. together all right what about Gran Torino? He's like, you sent the boy to me to try to mend my relationship with All Might. I kind of like that. Who would be the MVP? Uh, what, about, what about Fat Gum? I kind of liked where he's like giving out candy and he's like, <laughs> these two, these two have very viable information. And they're like, we do? I want to go home. 
I like these two, uh, Kirishima so and Sun Eater. So who are you saying is the MVP? Uh, God, I mean, the, the dude at the end who just didn't want to get blown up. I don't know. We we meme when we give to the MVP. Remember when we gave it to Bakugo's mom? <laughs> Your face. Yeah, that's a, that's a face that remembers. I don't know. Give it to... Can it, Katsuki! Hmm. I don't know. Give it to Night Eye. I have no idea. Nah, I say Eraserhead. No, I'm, I'm fine with giving it to Eraserhead. I think it's fine. This isn't really an episode. When I was recording the solo reactions earlier, I accidentally <laughs> stepped on this cord and, and stopped the recording. Ah. All right. So, my foot is asleep. They're just get, they're planning the raid. I want to know what some of these dudes' powers are. Like, Ryukyu is some dragon lady. What does that imply? Does she, like, can she do everything a dragon can do? She, like, sprouts wings, breathes fire. She's, like, she's, like, toothless if toothless was, like... Boy, I like, do I, boy, do I have a Fire Emblem character to introduce you to. Me? I'm okay. It's just, like, a person, like, yeah, like, flying around and, like, the dragon lady. Or, um... The, 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 I don't, I gotta figure out his name. I I'm not gonna keep calling him the black guy. Okay, Josh, I'm gonna admit something. What? I know what that guy's quirk is. You know what it is? Yeah. Well, don't tell me. The lock hero. The lock hero? The lock hero. Rock lock. Rock lock. Rock lock, okay. That sounds right. Uh, you know everybody's powers because you did research. You're not supposed to know this shit. We're supposed to figure it out. Oh, well, you know what? I'm still entertained by it. I'm still enjoying it. Fine. There's still a crazy shit happening. Fine, fine, fine. We also, you know, you know, hey, to be fair, we did look up a huge list of quirks. It's because you, you instigated that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, you have to admit that. What are you talking about? You instigated the, the What do you mean instigated? You told me to do it. I did not tell you to do it. I you was, to I was innocent. You were right behind my shoulder. <laughs> All right. So now they're just planning a raid. They're gonna, I really want to know. So what is Ares quirk? To the point where, like, Chisuki is taking her blood and cells and manipulating it to make a bullet that can take away people's powers. Hard to tell. I mean, there's so, there are quirks that are so specific, like, there's a guy who licks your blood and it paralyzes you. Uh, you know what? Wait a minute. She has a... What do you think the... Do you think the horn has anything to do with it? If anything, I... If I would have guessed, it would be, like, where she's leaking the fluid or something. But no, they are, like... She had bandages on her arms and legs, so they're, like... They're extracting blood or something. I have no idea. Because cause if they're using her quirk to do that, what the hell is it about her quirk that she can't just use that to escape? Because what are the implications there? I mean, to... Maybe you her... Cre you manage to yeah, just create take a drug based off of someone's quirk? Just take... It's like... It's I mean, like why don't you just do something like that with the eraser head? It's like, like in X-Men 3 when there was the kid who had the ability to take away your powers but if you were near him. And they took his genes, his blood, and made a drug that would, like, take away your mutation if you wanted it to. So it's kind of like that. Except they, 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 they apparently have kidnapped this girl. They keep calling him her daughter, which I think is bullshit. I, I, yeah, I think it's we bullshit. Didn't we didn't finish the meeting between uh, Shigaraki and Overhaul. He could, I mean, I would have. I figured it's just implied he stole her. Yeah, pro most likely, actually. Yeah. This whole meeting was pretty much just a... Uh, wait, wait, remember how... Wait a minute. We keep talking about how she vaporized someone. How? Yeah, so how does that relate to vaporizing someone? Dude, there's so much unknown. This is... Her quirk is going to be complex as fuck. It's got to be. We don't know. Wait, like there, this girl, there's like... No, this girl I seems like... to be... This girl seems to be integral to Overhaul's plan of like making this drug and like distributing it. I mean, it's like how much money do you even need, man? You're just trying to... You're a fucking anarchist at this at this point. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it. Patreon's yeah. the thing, by the pa way. Patreon's the thing. The voice actor who plays Fat Gum is the same voice actor who plays Kiba from Naruto, the dog guy. Yeah, I made that guy. I'm, it's cool. I think his voice fits, and I haven't really seen him in anything else. It's strange to just know that he was in Naruto like a while ago, and now he's just in My Hero Academia out of nowhere. He, that guy was kind of being a dick. The lock guy. Rock, rock, lock. Wait, lock, rock? Rock, was it Rock Lock or Lock Rock? I thought you said Rock Lock. Fuck, I have to look it up again. Whatever. Uh, I'll just go back to calling him the black guy. I'm kidding. No, I'll uh, smack you okay, for that. So, uh, he was kind of being a dick. It's like, well, tell me again, why do we have kids here? If these amateurs have just gotten the girl away in the first place, none of this would be happening. Kirishima's like, wait a minute. That that old guy's the guy who was with All Might during Kamino. Midoriya really, really knows some big players. Uh, come on. You know, he, he interned with Gran Torino. He works for Night Eye right now. Um, let me remind you of something. What do you? Eijiro. I spelled it wrong. My Hero Academia wiki. 
scroll the way down. Are you scrolling like his stats of intelligence? No, 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 no trivia. Um, he was 15th. Uh, he was ranked 15th in Class 1A's midterm grades. I wouldn't say he's a dumbass. Okay, he is kind of a dumbass. Okay, let's look over here. Intelligence, oh, 3 out of 5. Not bad. By the way, what was up with them? Like, they're, they're all leaving the uh, the dorms. They're like, oh, we're all, we all got assigned today? Oh, look oh, at his super... We're all look taking... His... I see it. Manliness is 6 out of 6. No, his, no. look at his super moves. He did all these in one episode for the first time. Red counter, red riot unbreakable, and red gauntlet. Yeah. There's a bit that I do with Joey, my OC with the crystal armor, where a, somebody will, like, try to attack him with a sword... The dude just like swings the sword over him, but he's like indestructible. The, the sword will just snap upon contact, and Joey's just standing there, kind of just com- just standing there, kind of normal. And then the sword will break. The sword will break, and he'll immediately just deck the guy in the face and punch him in the face, and the guy will be knocked out. And Joey just goes, "Employee of the month," and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this episode was pretty good considering the fact the majority of it was just sitting in a room and talking. A lot of people talking shit. <laughs> I mean, lot, yeah, one guy talking shit. And then, what was up with the bug guy? Why was his voice so high-pitched? That's not what it sounds like in the Japanese version. I guarantee it. I mean, you guarantee it. It's, if, you, if you look up the Japanese version of that character's voice, it's not going to be like a high-pitched thing. It's just going to be a normal voice. This is, this is weird. It's, it's, did you ever see... Did you, you saw Up, right? Yeah. Okay, I've never seen that. I've only seen like the first five minutes of Up because that's really the only thing that matters. But the dog, the big like rot was a Rottweiler. That was not a Rottweiler. I don't know. The, I don't know breeds of dog. It was like some big like probably like a golden retriever. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the talk, the happy one. There's like a mean one, a oh. big black mean one. I have. I don't. With remember. a and it's got the high. Doesn't it, matter it's anymore. High pitch voice. Doesn't matter anymore. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, I got nothing. Right. Uh, Patreon is a thing. Patreon is a thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. We will see you guys in the next one.